Sim Rads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. When I'm filleting these snappers, what I like to do is follow this line right here. And what that'll do is that'll allow you to avoid any of those rib bones. And then right, once I make that cut, I come in right up here and ride right along that bone. I'm feeling the bone with the knife. Okay, and lift it up and just ride this knife right along the bone here. These red snapper cut a lot like the mutton snappers we have in the keys. And then once I've done that, what I really like to do is then take this thing home, just like this, and get some butter and some seasoning, some Old Bay, mix it up and baste it down. Throw this thing on the grill, I don't know, eight minutes, five minutes, comes out perfect. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to cook snapper. So now I got the fish cleaned up. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc. And that is, uh, that's ready to go just like that. I don't know what it is, it's something about that skin, it kind of holds something, it's got fat in there, it's got something you, you, you don't have. I guess it's kind of like when you grill chicken or eat chicken with the skin on it, that's the good stuff, the sweet stuff. Same thing with fish, you know, some of this skin holds some fat and that, that's a lot of flavor. So I'll take this just like this and, like I said, a little butter, a little seasoning and right down on the grill. So again, these red snapper, uh, really good white meat. Everybody loves them. Uh, you know, get a hold of that fish, hold him down good and tight so he don't slip away. Put your finger right here where this fin hole is. Come down, long towards the forehead there. Take the knife right along the backbone. Feel it, you'll feel the bone there. seven inch bubble blade. And then what I do to skin it, you kind of hold the knife still and just pull the skin like that. That's the best way to pull that skin off. Uh, once you've done that, little rib bone right there you can pop off. And then my wife's pretty picky so she wants all that red out. So I take the knife, cut it right here, flip it around and cut all this red out. And that's what I'll do if I'm gonna fry some fish, you know? It's totally ready to go. Uh, everybody loves fried fish. You know, it's not the most healthiest thing in the world for you, but it sure is tasty. A lot of times, we've, we've been frying the fish lately. Uh, we've been doing panko. So basically, put a little flour on it, drop it in some egg, and then put it in that panko breadcrumbs, and it's already seasoned. And um, that's it, in a little peanut oil, and it is good. As you can see, we're not fishing today because it's so windy. So we are cleaning fish. Yeah, so this stuff is just excellent, fried. Um, any kind of white fish like this, I mean, any way you want to cook it, bake it, grill it. Um, I like to go simple. The simpler, the better. I don't like to have any too, anything too elaborate, anything too detailed recipes. You know, I like to keep it simple, and um, I love to grill fish, and I love to fry fish. Um, but some of this white meat fillets, this is some of the best stuff you can, you can play with because it tastes so well. So basically, it's such a light uh, taste to it that whatever you season it with, that's how it's going to taste.